Hi, this is Diane Love to Bake, and what we're going to make is coconut milk cookies. If you like coconut, well, and I bet you like coconut milk, you're going to love these cookies. This particular cookie, though, is a soft or a cake type cookie. If you're looking for a very crisp or chewy uh, coconut cookie, I have, uh, you know, the recipe. Uh, on my channel. In fact, I have several recipes for coconut cookies as well as coconut cakes and uh, that type of thing. So please check it out. But let's get started with this great recipe. We're going to start off with a one and a half cups of flour. And what I like about this recipe is that uh, you don't need a mixer or a hand mixer or anything. You can do it just by hand. We're also going to be putting in a teaspoon of baking powder right into the flour, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. And then just with my whisk, I'm going to bring it all together in a large bowl. Okay. And now we're going to cut in a half a cup of butter that I've had at room temperature and I've cut it into smaller pieces and then I'm just going to use a fork just to cut it in till it becomes crumbly with the dry ingredients. And that shouldn't take you too long. into the mixture. One egg yolk was broken. That's why it looked a little different, but they're two egg yolks. And then I'm just taking my fork and just blending it. You just want it to be crumbly, dry and crumbly at this point, okay? Like that. Now we're gonna be putting in vanilla. So you're gonna put one teaspoon of vanilla in. And then you're also going to be putting in a half a cup of your coconut milk. Okay, that was a half a cup. Now you can switch to a spoon or a spatula, but I'm just kind of used to using my, my fork. And then it will form a cookie dough for you, as you can see. Now I believe I'll, I'll go to the spatula here. And I don't know if you can see that or not. Okay. All right. And the next thing we're going to be putting in, of course, is shredded coconut. Now you can use the sweetened or the unsweetened. It's really up to you. And we're going to put a quarter of a cup in of the, um, I'm using a sweetened. And then I'm just going to fold that in. You don't really need to beat it or anything like that. The next thing we're going to put in is three quarters of a cup of chocolate chips. Now you can use the mini ones if you prefer, but I'm just using, you know, the regular size chocolate chips that was three quarters of a cup. The coconut and the chocolate just taste delicious. And then when they're baking in the oven, oh, the whole kitchen smells so nice, okay? All right. The next thing, of course, you need a cookie tray or a pan. And uh, if you don't have parchment paper or don't want to use it, uh, just lightly spray it, okay? And then with a small scoop, I'm just going to level off the scoop. 
and you do want to place them about one and a half or uh, two inches away from each other because they they are going to spread on you okay now what you're also going to be needing for all the cookies is you're going to need additional uh, coconut and that's a half a cup and then you're going to need an additional quarter cup of your chocolate chips for the for the topping so then what I like to do is I just take a little bit of the coconut and I sprinkle it on top of the cookie like that and then I put anywhere from usually two or three little you know the chocolate chips on top just to garnish them like that and then I put it in the oven at 350 degrees and it takes anywhere from 12 to 14 minutes now when they bake up the edges will turn a little bit of a golden brown for you but the rest of the cookie will stay more of a light uh, uh, golden brown not a real dark uh, golden brown uh, if you bake them too long then they become extremely dry and you probably aren't going to like uh, like the uh, the taste of them okay now I 